what's up people how's going this is bharat and welcome back to yet another video with the code among channel so i've got a very interesting video for you guys in this python and 10 minute project series so if you, if you look here i'm actually looking into an active public web camera from a japan region and if you see here you can actually play the web camera and you can actually actively see what is happening so this is actually true for anywhere in the world you can look into any of the public cameras in the world and it's very very simple to do in python you can do it with just six lines of code and i'm very excited to talk to you guys about that in today's video so as always let's get this video started straight thanks again for the sponsor for this video an academy along with coach chef have come up with a very interesting series of videos and courses as well so i'm going to be talking about more of that in the upcoming minute all right guys so as soon as you can see here that i'm using a web, very simple website called as windy.com now the windy.com is a collection of rest apis around the world to do three important things first one is to look into webcams the second is to look into the uh, weather around the world and third is to look into the point traffic around the world so basically what I'm what you can do is that you can actually create a very simple account with the windy.com and create a very simple free tier account and once you're done with that you will be able to access any of the public webcams and you can even choose what you want to see so you can uh, first things first what i'm going to be doing is to show you guys a very simple walkthrough on how you can use the public uh, create the api key with windy.com so first thing you go to windy.com and uh, you go to api.windy.com so as soon as you go here, you'll be taken to a very simple uh, login screen. First thing you do is just do a simple registration. It is not a problem. You just have to create your username and password and give your email ID and nothing more than that. So as soon as you complete the registration process, you are taken to this screen. So if you're going to do the registration, do it right now and come back and watch the video. So let's assume that you've completed the registration and you're taken to these three different uh, APIs. So I'm very interested in looking at the webcam, which is a public webcam, right? And you do not have to worry anything about this is not anything about this is not illegal everything is legally used and hooked onto a public network and they have access to view all of these public webcams nothing about this is private we are not intruding into anybody's privacy everything is public so do not worry about that first thing you do is click on the web webcams.api and you will be taken to a very simple page like this where you have to either go for the professional one or the free one so since we are doing it for hobby purpose let me choose the uh, free api so once you inside that you'll be taken to a similar page like this where my email id is shown and you'll also be taken to a page where your api keys are shown now if you see here there's an api value that i have right here which is what i'm going to be using for this video but uh, do not worry you should not be copying this page copy and pasting this one uh, primarily because this is pointing to my account and i'll be deleting this once this video is completed so don't do any kind of that work and let's continue on so first what we need is to do is to create a very simple api so just click on this button which is down below and you can do you do not have to fill out this portion just give it a same simple name like uh, bharat's uh, uh, api or something like that and once you're done you're asked to choose between the three different apis i'm very much interested in the webcams api so i click this and i create my api so as soon as i'm done i'm also creating a very simple new uh, api key and its creation date is shown as 19 .1. So let me remove this one from here and I'll go with this currently created one. And I'm going to be using this API value in the next one minute. So let's copy paste, copy, copy this for now and we'll fire up our PyCharm and our PyCharm is going to do a lot of work today. So first things first, what is going to do is to first, I'm actually creating a simple project. I've called it as Windy Webcam. And in the Windy Webcam project, I've also created a simple Pi file called a sample.py. Now, what I'm going to do is to imp, uh, just install a very simple library called as request. So it's at the end and it's already satisfied. So do not have to worry about that. I My thing is already satisfied. If yours is still not uh, uh, installed, make sure to install and continue. Let me take one simple minute of your time, guys, to look into the sponsor for us with this video, Unacademy, along with Coach Chef. I'm a big fan of free classes and I would highly recommend anybody who's teaching for free to first go and make use of that. And that's what these people at Unacademy and Coach Chef are doing. If you're somebody who's trying to learn something for the first time or if you're somebody who's planning to be, improve your coding skill or even prepare 
prepare for a tech interview uh, this is where you got to start and if you if you see here these are not just test series but are also classes that are taught by experts in the field for example sanket tanuj arjun all of these people are just few of the experts who are going to be teaching you classes for free and as well as for live classes which you can make use of if you're for the first time using an academy highly recommend you guys to use the promo code coming down uh, to unlock all of these free classes if you see here these classes are not just for the beginners these are starting from beginners to intermediate to as advanced as well as preparing you for a coding interview even preparing you for miscellaneous activities as well very importantly if you're going to be starting something new i would highly recommend you guys to check out the upcoming pinnacle series which is about a one year structured course where you'll be able to get access to all of these different live classes from the experts themselves if you're going to be making use of that you will need a subscription but do not worry about that you can use the promo code again to get 10 percent off it does not matter if you're not going to be using all of these paid courses if you want to make sure that you're going to get a good start for 2021 make use of this free courses first of all and proceed from wherever you want to proceed and you'll be definitely seeing a very important change in what you're learning if you like this and you want to know more about it you can definitely drop a comment down below and i'll be very happy to assist you in that all right so we've completed installing our request we have completed creating the api key so let's paste the api key here i'll just comment it out so that i will not forget what i want and first what i'm going to do is to do a simple import i'll do simple import of requests and i'll go down here and i'm going to create an api so the api is going to be the endpoint so if you see here the windy.com is actually giving us a lot of documents to look into uh, if you're interested you can go forward and look into all the documents as and when required but i'm going to be looking into this simple document and you will see that what is the end point that you need to hit so this is the end point that i need to hit so everything is going to be a simple get call which is a very simple rest api call so let's use this end point right so we have to use this endpoint and the next thing we're going to do is to obviously try and connect to the maps or the location we want webcams to be shown to us right so what i'm going to do is next is to create a very simple uh, endpoint so this is going to be the first url that is going to be required the next portion is going to dictate what are the different features that this webcams api can give us so if, if you go right over here and you can see that it's going to give us a lot of different activities you can list it by country you can list it by region you can even list it by uh, webcams and all of these are important ones that we require now i don't want to go into a very huge set of api a very huge set of webcams i want to narrow down my search so what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose my country first so let's go and choose my country i am going to choose my country as jp or uh, japan now i tried it with multiple countries and this is the one that worked pretty much consistently and uh, it's not that it's not going to work it will usually work for every country in the world whichever is connected to a public network it will work so first do a list and you'll do a country and the country is going to be jp for me so let's do jp and followed by that i am also going to be choosing a category i'm going to be choosing a category of uh, either you can say beaches you can say churches you can say anything you want i'm going to be choosing a beach as my category so i want to find all the beaches that are available and i've completed my api structuring now the next one is going to be the parameters that i want to pass the parameters are very important we want the webcams link or we want the webcam urls to be shown to us so that you can just click on that and you can go and find the url and open it in your browser and you can view the webcams right so what i'm going to be doing is that i'm going to be choosing a very simple uh, parameter called the show and in the show i'm going to say webcams i'm going to say url so this is again the structure that i took up from the uh, references here you can go down you can find anything of that sort from here you can look in examples if you want to and these are all the different things that you get as part of this uh, entire structure so let's go again back to the pie chart here and once you're done we'll go and now start writing our entire code now we've written our request one line api is the second line next thing we need is to use a header so where do we going to use our uh, the uh, api key that we took it from the first thing that we need as part of the headers is a simple key the key is going to be x windy i think api or windy key uh, so it's going to be x windy key and we're going to say we're going to i think i'm okay i'm going to pass this right here so we've taken the windy key and you've passed it here all right now time to make our request so we'll say response equal to request dot get and I'm going to say URL is equal to the API URL followed by I want to give the headers as headers. All right, I'm done. Now I've gotten my request will be done and I want to print the response. 
I'm just going to do response.json or response.txt, whichever you want to. Now I'm going to be running this simple five line code. And as soon as you see that, it's going to take some time to make that request. And as soon as it comes back, it is going to give you guys a lot of answers. Now it says that Minauta Southwest Tokyo. And as I scroll to the right, it is actually giving me the URL. And if I click this URL, it's going to take me to the location or the API or the webcam API. And it's going to show me the webcam and it's true for every single country. And this is a very, very simple program that you can use. And you can even make sure that you're creating any of your bigger projects. If you want to have a lot of amount of large data, you can use this and pull out your webcam data and create maybe an, a computer vision project from here. You can create your natural language processing from here. So all of these are projects are going to be starting with just a five simple line of code. And I'm pretty sure you'll just like what I saw, showed you guys here so if you like this video you know what to do smash that like button down below i'll be very happy to answer any questions you have regarding this windy api it's free to use so what is the loss right so going to also be legal to use as well so make sure you uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content on python and i hope that you guys liked what you saw uh, any other comments you have drop them down below i'll be very happy to answer you let me meet you in the next video until then bharat peace out have a super awesome day